to the Cincinnati Reds this season concerning Pete Rose and his alleged gambling involvement. The Cincinnati Reds are playing excellent baseball. With yesterday's 10-8 victory over the Cubs, the Reds have won four in a row. They lead the West by two and a half over the Giants. Rob Dibble, back from a two-day suspension for throwing a bat, pitched two perfect innings to get the win. So the Reds are on a roll to the delight of their owner, Marge Schott. And Marge has joined us from WLWT, our NBC affiliate in Cincinnati. Marge, in light of all the attention on Pete Rose, are you surprised that things have gone so well? Did you expect the worst? No, not really. I have a favorite saying, when the going gets tough, the tough get going, and my team is tough. All right, Marge, this past Wednesday night, Tony Pena of St. Louis hit a pop foul in the Don't direction as it turned out, in the direction of your first row box seat. Now, a young man, a guest of yours, sitting alongside you, and you try to catch the ball. He made the catch. You seem to be upset, but in, in doing so, in making the catch, he interfered with the play, resulting in Eric Davis of your ball club being called out. Now, I've heard of an owner getting into the game, but, Marge, that may have been stretching it a little bit. Well, um, it's not my month, I think, you yeah. know. The ball went up, and I'm looking up, it's coming down to me, and you know, when a ball comes towards you, there you really don't think of anything, and thank goodness I didn't catch it myself. Um, but this boy had his glove, and um, I didn't even realize what had happened, because I didn't know that there was a reaching over or anything. He really didn't go over that far, and whether the catcher could have caught it or not, and I'm just standing there thinking, what is this, you know, and all of a sudden it dawned on me. And one of the announcers, I was patting him on the back. I wasn't. I was giving him playful smacks, you bad uh -huh. boy, you know? <laughs> but, <laughs> but, you know, it just isn't my month, right? Were you upset but more... But we won anyway. Marge, were you upset more about not catching the ball or the interference call? Well, I I've, uh, wouldn't have mind catching the ball, but, you know, you do get excited when a ball's coming towards you and you don't really know where it's going to land. But I don't think any of us realized that we had it had been caught outside the railing, you know, because the boy didn't lean over that much or anything. And... He felt terrible his dad called yesterday and apologized, and I said, hey, those things happen. All right, several weeks back, with uncertainty continuing regarding Pete Rose's status, you were asked about the possibility of one of your coaches taking over for Pete if he were suspended, and you were quoted as saying, to be frank, I don't think we have any coaches who could handle a top leadership job. Now, your coaching staff includes the likes of Dave Bristol and Tommy Helms and Tony Perez, Lee May. How did they react? to your statement? Well, I've been put in front of the bus by misquotes so much that it really makes me feel bad, but, and I felt very bad about that because I respect my coaches. In fact, I called them all, I talked to their wives, I always talk to their wives, and um, I had them up in my office and told them that, you know, again, I've been put in front of the bus and I do respect them, and uh, my goodness, Tony Perez, he's been with us for years, and Lee Mays is a wonderful guy, and their wives are wonderful people, and, um, I, I just felt uh, very bad about it. But again, as I say, I've been put in front of the bus so many times, I, what's new, you know? Uh, I'm but, told, uh, Marge, I'm told you're not talking to the Cincinnati media right now. Why is that? Well, it's not that um, I'm not talking to them. It's just that, you know, uh, it seems like all we want to do is sensationalism. We're not, you know, concentrating on baseball anymore. It's, uh, you know, um, and I just don't like to be misquoted or when people take things out of contents. I, I like true press, and uh, um, so I just, you know, there's nothing to talk about, really. So if you want to talk about bad things, you know. You I want to talk about good things, upbeat. What is your reaction to the ongoing Pete Rose situation? What is your sense of what will eventually happen? Well, um, it's really the commissioner's office. The Reds have nothing to do with this. It's been a very difficult the three months or four months seems to be ten years. Um, it's a very difficult time, I know, for Pete, for myself and the team. Um, but we're just overcoming it and surging forward. I think everybody's pulling together uh, to say, hey, we're going to show everybody what we can do here. All right, Marge. Thank you very much for joining us on the pregame. Okay, nice being here. All right, Marge Schott, the owner of the Cincinnati Reds, will be back in a moment.